Hey everyone, welcome. It is Junior Solar Sprint time. We are so excited. This is the last of our preseason streams. Mm -hmm. We've been venturing around and checking out each of the buildings and seeing what can be done in each workshop. And so today we're going to do our final preseason challenge. And so um, we're going to get into that in just a moment. But before we do that, we'll introduce ourselves really quickly. My name is Claire LeBeau, and I am the Director of Communications at NASA, the North America Scholastic Esports Federation. And we have with us Clever Like. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, everybody. I'm Clever Like. I am, uh, run a company called Clever Like Studios. We create experiences inside of popular video games to help kids um, get experiences that uh, relate to things in the real world that they can't get in the real world. And we turn them into learning exercises and lots of fun, especially when you have cool people like this crew here. That's right. Woo -woo. <laughs> Aww. 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 Like, like Kathy. Oh, like Kathy. Oh, like me. Yay. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Kathy <laughs> Chow Isaacs uh, at I Wear the Crowns on the social media. I'm a global Minecraft mentor and on the Minecraft challenge team here at NASEF. So, so excited for challenge, preseason challenge. Don't let me misspeak. I do that. Uh, number four. Number four. Today. And here's my friend. Eric. Wait, wait. Can, oh, I went the wrong way. Wait, I, there. I, Tag I, me in. Eric. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yep, yeah, I'm Eric Leitner. I am a STEM and computer science instructional facilitator. I am way too many things to list all the ridiculous titles all that I have. Things. One day I'll do that and we'll just get through a stream and get nothing done. It'll be yeah, one hour, that. one hour later. One hour and go. Uh, just bullet <laughs> points will be running down the stream like credits. It'll be great. Giving all of his Rocket League uh, That's right. ranks and everything. I mean, Diamond One is not that exciting. <laughs> it's there. It's there. Get, get you higher. There you go. Uh, but, uh, Super excited to be here, love this project. Excited because we're on the final of the four challenges, even though we're not gonna build our cars today, we are gonna find out our final kind of tallies today, uh, which is really exciting. Um, but I guess before we do any of the exciting stuff, you know, you have to do the paperwork stuff. That's just how it works. Gotta <laughs> do the paperwork. That's Who right. says that? So, what is that your from? Paperwork. Paperwork. <laughs> Monster Zinc. I'm watching <laughs> with asking. All right. <laughs> Um, I can tell this is going to be a fun one today. This is. I think we're a little loopy. <laughs> Just today. <laughs> oh, no, you're right. They all are fun. Okay. That's right. I'm going to go ahead and play. We have this awesome overview introduction of Junior Solar Sprint. So without further ado, let's check this out. Wow, that is so cool. I love it. Best soundtrack ever. <laughs> it is awesome. <laughs> so today, in just a couple minutes, we are going to hop into that building number four and mm -hmm. get going there. But before we do that, Eric, why don't we go ahead and give a quick overview of... Let me show your screen here. You We're came in at just the right time. Look at the banner. It was like right there waiting. Oh, perfect. <laughs> right. So if you are learning about Junior Solar Sprint and you want to join, what should you do? What should you do indeed? So head over to nasef.org, uh, nasef.org, and you will uh, see, first of all, if you're if you're going there now, you'll see this banner is actually just the second banner at the top. So you'll see the awesome Goldberg competition, and then boom, this one pops up. There's also the fantastic Farmcraft one. This one's right in the middle. It is the meat in the Minecraft sandwich of banners right here. Uh, so you can click right on that banner, and it'll take you where you need to go. 
Additionally, you can click on the learning tab at the bottom and scroll all the way down and you'll see Junior Solar Sprint Minecraft Contest. And then of course, if you happen to click on Compete by Accident, you're still in luck because if you go down to Minecraft Events and you click on that, it's right here as well as one of the Minecraft events on the amazing NACEF website. If we go in, that very first big blue button at the top is to register your team. And that's where you can get registered, get access to the world and start playing along with us. Uh, of course, there's also the team guide, the educator guide, which includes many other challenges in Minecraft you can do with your class. Um, a great handy uh, document to walk you through using Minecraft Education Edition if you never have before. And of course, if you never have before and you don't even have access to it, registering your team gets you a free license for it mm -hmm. and you will get to participate no matter what. And then of course you can subscribe to our Twitch channel or the YouTube channel. Odds are you're watching this on one of them already, but if you need to know where the other one is, you can come right here and find it. And of course, if you should accidentally miss that register your team button over here and you start scrolling, you'll see another one over here. So you can't miss it. Ooh, gotcha. Piece of cake. Gotcha. Yep, that's right. Gotcha covered. It's kind of like, hey, you should register. Did you forget to register? <laughs> yeah, like, we got you. By the way, you. register. Register. <laughs> right, exactly. Well, that's the paperwork end. There, we did it. Yes, nice. we did it. <laughs> now, if you'll scroll Thank down goodness. just a little further there. Eric, let's go. Let's go. We have done a few of these streams before, and we have been working in other workshops. And so if you keep scrolling down that page, you will see. That's right. And that you're, you're right links. here right now, so. Yep, we're right here, and we've got the links to the previous ones. So you can go ahead and just go right to NASEF and get the tips and tricks and the insider mm -hmm. information as far as what you should be doing in those other workshops by watching yep. those previous streams. Yep. And on some of those, we definitely showed you what to do too much, and on others, we showed you what <laughs> not to do at all. So, exactly. And maybe right. that'll be another one today because uh, we're going to do things a little differently today. Yeah, we, we got something new yeah. and different planned for you today. So right now we're in the practice world and we will be in the practice world until February 28th. And we've got another live stream coming up on March 1st. And at that point, that's when we will be in the challenge world. So um, you got a, a little bit more time to be practicing and then the challenge world is coming out and we'll do a live stream to explain all about what you should do and how to submit and compete in this awesome junior solar sprint. I should also mention, we're doing this in conjunction with the AEOP, the Army Educational Outreach Program. They run the solar sprint in the physical world. And so there are students all around the United States who are building solar vehicles and racing them outside, hopefully in the sunshine, so they go nice and fast, and um, seeing how their cars come out. And we worked with the AEOP and we said, wouldn't it be cool if kids could participate in this, even if they didn't happen to have access to one of those in-person contests. And also, let's face it, everyone loves Minecraft. And so by making this available in Minecraft now, many more people are able to participate from around the United States and then also even at DOD schools in different countries. So we're really happy that we're able to expand the number of you that are participating. And we've been getting lots of emails from teachers saying, I'm registering every one of my classes. Can I get you know, wow. 60 of those Minecraft licenses? The answer is yes. Bring it on. We want more people to participate. So absolutely register yourself, register your small little team or register every class you teach and bring them in. We're happy to have everyone here. Nice. Yeah, very cool. cool. So Eric, let me give my spiel and then we'll go into our argument about oh, how, we're, how we're gonna do this. Do this it. Wait, so, should I be at the building? Give I mean, you, you can make your way to the building. Right. We don't even know where you are right now. Yeah, that was well, yeah. that's what I'm saying. I'm like, don't reveal our, our controversy. <laughs> oh, right. Don't reveal that yet. So so just to, like like Claire was saying, the, the junior solar sprint is like an in-person real, like you build a solar vehicle. And I think that's a, a great uh, hands-on activity. And so what we wanted to do was try to create uh, an opportunity for you to learn about those solar vehicles, but do it in a fun way in Minecraft. So a lot of these Minecraft exercises are not like you're not learning how to like assemble the the actual pieces of a, a, a vehicle in Minecraft. Uh, you're learning about what's important with solar vehicles and you're taking on challenges in those different areas and you're learning Things like problem solving and perseverance and iteration and see, I said it and, uh, and, and, and teamwork, <laughs> uh, you know, all these really good 
skills that you need for solving all kinds of problems in the world. So these, that's what these activities do. But in the, in the, in the process, you're learning the importance of a solar panel, uh, the importance of a motor and a, and a gearbox, how it converts that energy from the, the solar panel into motion. And then the vehicle body, we just, we just played where you learn like how heavy and durable the materials or how light and durable the, the materials can be all the important factors because you have a lot of difficult things with solar panels being very large and only being able to deliver a little bit of, of, of power and a motor having to move a vehicle, which could be really heavy. So you need really light materials. And they need to be strong because it needs to be safe. Um, so all these things coming together is a really interesting dilemma. And, uh, you know, hopefully you'll research that, be motivated to try to build your own real solar vehicle. So um, we introduced the concept of a battery in this case, where a battery is really just used to replace the sun in this junior solar sprint activity. In this case, we're introducing the battery as kind of like an important element of a solar circuit because the sun doesn't shine 24 hours a day where most people live. And so what we want to be able to do is try to capture that sun and that energy and I was going to say, it, you know, it says sunshine state right on my license plate. So <laughs> it does, but I feel is, I have an unfair advantage. What, what about in three the three of four of us are in pretty amazingly sunny places, <laughs> That's but true. you know, we're just lucky. We're just lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah, we do have access to a lot of sunshine. So we're a little yes. bit spoiled. Um, but yeah, you know, like the idea that's important in solar circuits is really like storing that energy. And that's where batteries come in so that you can access it when it's not being produced actively. Uh, so I think it's an important piece. And that's why we added it to this competition, because uh, I think it's a piece of the equation that you need to think about. And so, of course, this activity, well, you'll, you'll see how cute the activity is once we get into the fact that uh, we had some arguments in the, or, or I don't know, arguments, maybe some, let's just say we had some Strong disagreements um, on the how the teamwork went on the last activity. The teamwork did not what? make the dream work because we still came in at <laughs> tier one. Oh, number three. Yeah, that's right. Yes. And so we were all over here scheming. You know, we came home, we talked to our parents and we we're like, my teammates <laughs> are total, uh, you know, they're totally distracted. They don't know what they're doing. I could have totally done this better myself. And so uh, I wanted, I, you know, I, I'd be better off by myself. I agree. <laughs> I agree already. So game on. Uh, so what we've decided to do, and, and maybe it's it's modeling of, of what works and what doesn't uh, in this one. So we're doing things a little differently for Challenge 4. Uh, we each have a copy of the world that we started in. Uh, and rather than do Challenge 4 together, uh, we're going to see how we do on our own. We're going to see who comes out on top, and we're going to see if we can do good enough on our own to not need each other. I don't need these people. I don't know. I don't need these people. I am a professional. Yeah, I mean, you are a professional. <laughs> I don't something. need people. I got this. That's right. Oh All right. Bye. So, okay. So, so we're going to give us, it a shot with the individual approach. This. That's time. right. Yeah. So yeah. you're looking at my screen right now. This is my screen. I can I can wait for that. If you see the flannel shirt there, you're in my world. Yeah. <laughs> If you see the high score, you're son. in my world. Oh, oh my okay. goodness. Oh, okay. I'm just going to get a drop. cookie okay. and I'm going to hold it. So there you know which we one go. Is me. Oh, wait, oh. I can't get to the cookies. And wait a minute. This is survival. I have no cookies Kathy. to hold. Right. Ay, uh -oh. ay, ay. Just uh -oh. drive your scooter. Right. Stay on your scooter, Kathy. I dare you. Just drive your scooter right into the challenge. I know. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. Well, I tried that the other day. Good luck. That's right. I tried it the other day and I got uh, motion Force sick. Field. So I will not be on the oh. scooter the whole time. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh. too much, <laughs> too much scootering. All right, All right. So are we ready to enter so the battery are we ready? workshop? We're entering yes. the battery workshop. Wait, are we talking to the person first or are we? We're, we're uh, all talking to the person. That's okay. the thing. We're going to have to sync up our start times a little bit. Yeah. Right. So wait. So can somebody like whatever you're doing, can I, you know, you, we can only see one screen. So just right. talk, mm -hmm. talk it out. I'll, I'll read it out. All right. Oh, so thanks. this is building for the battery workshop. Uh, you have not started this workshop yet. Would you like to enter? We always say yes. Okay, I'm going to say yes. And that opens the door, which you can't see because it's behind the dialogue box, but the door is now open. Uh, solar panels are constantly generating electricity when exposed to sunlight. When it is cloudy or dark, there is little to no electricity generated by the solar panels. Many solar powered installations will use batteries to store unused electricity during the day 
So it can be accessed at night. I mean, after all, if the sun is out, how much do you really need to turn the lights on in your house? Right? Makes mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. uh, batteries take up space and add weight to a vehicle. So it is important to have the best technology possible. Go inside to learn about batteries and to build a battery for your vehicle. And again, okay. we're going to be doing some fun mini game stuff to conceptualize things. We're heading inside. Uh, again, I love how all, they all have a little waiting room. Right. The floor, waiting room. Foyer, foyer. I'll, the I'll foyer. wait until you get done here so you can post your scores and then I can just dominate. That's fine. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> no, we're not doing that? All right. What? So welcome to, we're at the sign now here. Yep. Uh, welcome to the Battery Workshop. Visit both. I love the naming conventions. It just works. Right. Uh, to learn. Right, it's all plenty. Uh, learn how batteries are used with solar energy. Since the sun isn't always shining, batteries can store solar energy for later use. Research different types of batteries and learn how they are used in solar electric vehicles. Uh, and then of course, complete the build challenge to determine the power of your vehicle's battery. So here is Bolt. Uh, sunlight is a free and abundant source of solar power. The biggest problem is that the sun only shines for part of the day. By using batteries with solar power, we can store the electricity during the day and use it in the evening. It is important for batteries to charge quickly and hold as much power as possible with the lightest weight. Learn more about some of the latest battery technology and then complete the sunflower challenge to determine the quality of your vehicle battery. Sunflowers, you say. And before sunflowers, oops, Eric, I was just capturing say, the sun. Before we move on, let's just show the immersive reader there real quick. In yeah, case anyone, let's do that. If this is your first time watching a stream and you're going through Minecraft, well, either if it's your first time in the stream or if it's your first time in Minecraft, you haven't used the immersive reader, there's a great little button there. And go ahead, Eric, to explain what's here. Yeah, so with the immersive reader, I'm not sharing my audio right now, but with the immersive reader, it'll bring up a reader with all of the dialogue that you saw within that box. And again, you can do this in any of the books that are in the game. You can do it with the signs that are in the game if you look at them and press the I button on your keyboard. If you press the immersive reader button when you're talking to an NPC, it'll translate all like you're seeing right here and bring it up on screen. There is a text to speech button here, so it'll actually read it to you and you'll even see it highlighting the words even if you can't hear it but I'm hearing it read it out, which is pretty cool. And you can change the voice settings, how fast or slow, or what type of voice you want it to be. And there are all sorts of settings. You can change the color, the font, the text size. Uh, you can highlight the parts of grammar, or the parts of speech, if that's something you're working on in your reading classes. Uh, and of course you can translate the entire document. So if you speak another language, if English is let's say not your first language, and it wasn't the only language in my home growing up, as I mentioned last time, uh, German was also spoken in my home and you can right. translate the whole document and it'll even read it in that language. Uh, so super cool. And I think Kathy, you looked up last time, how many languages it was that were supported by immersive I, reader. Do you remember? It's, I believe it's close to 60. I think yeah, it was, it was 60 57, something, right? 57, 57, just wow. under 60. But yeah. I felt like, um, it was this, you know, whatever I looked up was the same number that I had, um, wait, it was the same number, but I had looked it up previously. So it seems like there are many more languages. So I wonder mm -hmm. if that was, mm. that piece was right. accurate. But and not even just languages, but, tons. But, but also dialects, right? So for example, if you look at German was one, by the way, that had various locations where German dialects can vary, um, whether you're in Switzerland, Austria, Germany, or any of the German speaking countries. Uh, but for example, Kurdish, right? You see central and northern. So okay. various dialects within those languages as well, which is phenomenal. Very cool. And again, I can switch back and forth between the original language source and the translated language source right here at the top. Mm -hmm. We love Immersive Reader. It doesn't awesome. have pirate, though. It doesn't uh, have pirate. I... Oh, September 19th. September Yar. 19th. Yeah. Feel like a pirate day, by the uh, way. That's right. That's All my right. birthday. Oh, nice. oh. <laughs> Wait, your birthday is always Speak Like a Pirate Day? It is. Oh, wow. okay. Do they make a Hello Kitty pirate anything? Because we have to I remember that. I don't know. I don't know, but I can yeah. tell you because we're going we're going off the rails for a second. We are, but I mean, oh, you can be hyped. Uh, um, all right, so I'm ready to take a look in the game manual over here. There's always our game manual. I love minute. that we have a game manual at every mm -hmm. single station. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we must harvest as many sunflowers as possible in four minutes. Oh, this is a button masher, isn't it? This is uh, this is some old school track and field. This is mash just, that button until I get carpal tunnel syndrome and my fingers hurt. 
Brute force. <laughs> brute no, but force. You, you know, there's brute force has a plan. There is a plan, right? This is not just mash the button standing in one place either. Ten so. minutes. All right. So are we playing it? I got Wait, it. So four for minutes. four minutes, we're going to harvest as many sunflowers. The day-night cycle is moving quick. Sunflowers grow during the daylight. Harvest sunflowers quickly before the next daylight cycle. Uh, new sunflowers replace harvested sunflowers, but not all, I guess. The challenge right. is to try to break them all before the next day cycle starts. Right. So think about this. If you get an entire crop of sunflowers and you were to wipe all of them clear, then you get a new crop to harvest. But say you only harvest like half of a crop then only half of the crop comes back in so you've basically ah. lost the opportunity to collect those half because um, that cycle has gone by so you could only get new sunflowers by by breaking existing ones and so you go through these several day cycles you've got to essentially clear the entire area every single time to get the highest score as best as you can Mm -hmm. I like, by the way, this is, well, some people might go, well, why sunflowers? There, there's a really logical reason here because sunflowers take solar energy and convert it into chemical energy, which is stored, right? Potential energy. Uh, and that's what we're doing with solar panels and with batteries. We're taking solar energy, converting it uh, right to electrical, which the battery is storing as potential chemical energy. So, oh, I mean, to me, the metaphor awesome. is, is flawless. I love Thank the you. metaphor. Yeah. Thank you. I thought it was nice cute. Job. Yeah. Nice you job. made it more legitimate. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Said, wait, no, no. You're supposed to say that was my plan all along. Well, it was right. my plan all along. It was. I give you credit. So let's see. Right. We've got we've got a bit of a race going on here. Oh, all right. We've got a little more information to read here. Go ahead. All right. So we're going to read this. But if every if all three of you or three of us could have the PC open and finger on the start button there. Yeah. I right. see. Wait, no. I. You know what? There, I'm not doing it. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. I, I got distracted because I wanted to read more about sunflowers storing energy. Oh. So um, oh. I'm looking at nature <laughs> <laughs> on the that. internet. Yeah. All right. So All right. What are we on? We're on start. Never deny Not Kathy's informational literally, uh, literacy yeah. skills. She has mad oh, informational curiosity. literacy skills. That's right. Modeling the curiosity. curiosity. Love it. Yeah. Absolutely. Kathy, good job. All right. All right. So you. we can't like, get solar energy. Start? Oh, not yet? Okay. Oh, no. Well, you can have your finger there. I'm going to read this, and then we're going. I have my finger there. Claire can count us down when we get there. I will count okay. you down. Okay. So we can't get solar energy from sunflowers, but we're using them for this challenge. Your goal is to harvest as many sunflowers as possible. Breaking a sunflower will open a space for a new one to grow. Clear as many flowers as quickly as possible. The number of sunflowers harvested will be determined by the quality, or will determine the quality of the battery in your vehicle. All right, fingers are on start buttons. All right, fingers mm -hmm. are yep, on the start yep. buttons. Okay, ready? <laughs> Get ready. And Claire, right. if you could switch between some of our screens as I, we go, you know. I will do that. So that way they can see, see how bad they're losing. Oh, oh, oh the yeah. challenges are getting thrown. Oh, oh, track and field, old All right. track and field thrown down. Here we go. I've not played Three, this before, so. Two, one, go. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, okay they count. Oh, there they uh -oh. are. There they are. Let's see. That's Wait, Eric. so we have to pick them up also? No, well, don't no, worry no way. It. No way. Wait, wait. There's wait. Kathy. Kathy's figuring it out. Uh, uh. Ah! You will My finger already hurts. <laughs> already. It's only like 10 seconds. Come on. All right. You have to do this for four minutes. There's, you have to pace yourself. Clever, you have to pace like, yourself. Wait, I'm so confused. Whoever, like. Um, someone's going to be playing better than us because uh, I think Kathy. I think Kathy already is missing being on a team. Uh, well, I'm starting to realize there are a lot of rows of sunflowers. <laughs> maybe maybe we would Eric's have doing. each taken some rows, but you know, I got this. All right. Uh, kind of wish we had the team back together, Eric. <laughs> Based on the carpal tunnel syndrome that I'm experiencing, yeah, that's a right. possibility. Right. All right, you can see. hold the button down, but if you click off of it, it kind of loses that momentum. There's Kathy. How's Kathy doing? I'm gonna button mash. I'm gonna button mash. Go, Kathy, go. That's the way I do it. I wonder if our audience Kathy, is just Kathy, hearing my go. insane amount of mouse clicking right now. Yeah. <laughs> what? Right. Oh What's happening goodness. over here, with Brian? Let's see. Well, I can't walk straight. <laughs> is it because of the pain in your wrist right now? From no, no, no. <laughs> oh, this is kind of interesting. All right, wait. We still got a minute and wait, no, we got like 
Two and Probably a half minutes three to minutes. go. Yeah, you've we're got looking a while. At the timer. Yeah, we're, we're up to 100 we're seconds. We're up to 100 seconds. We're, so we got you need time. to clear every single sunflower before As they best grow you again. can, which we're not doing. No. I have not cleared every they, sunflower they, in the they night. They cycle. grow yeah. during the day, only filling spots oh, that are empty. Oh, right. That's right. And the day night cycle. I do cycle. notice look, now if, we got the day night cycle going. Are you on? Are you on mine right now? Yes. Let's I'll look see. up. Yes. Watch to see the moon going by. Oh. And then the sun comes up real quick. Oh, the attention to detail, so cool. Oh so, my goodness! All right. So yeah, you've got a. So you're harvesting even at nighttime. Wow, you're serious. I mean, you got to get are, them. There's no sleeping happening there. Let's see no, how Eric's no. doing over here. I'm in panic mode. Is what I'm <laughs> in. In panic mode. Eric That's right. Is wishing he had his team. I don't know right. if my, my, my wrist hurts more or my eyes burn more, but you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm just focused. I'm just focused. He's intense. He's intense. That's right. All right. I don't know if anyone ever described, you know, someone's gameplay in harvesting sunflowers as peaking or popping off, but I think that's what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see what Kathy's up to over here. There's Kathy. Heck Looks like forth. it's it's either evening or early morning right Sick. now. Like, oh, there goes the sun. Now and we have no sunny. idea because it's not telling us a score yet, right? It doesn't tell us a score till we're done. Uh, oh, so we can't be like, oh, I'm confident I have a solid right. lead. You're right, because I see the time. And My the score's still at zero, which is, is making me zero. very nervous. You are right about that. Yours is zero. Kathy's was zero. Let's take a look at Brian. Also zero. Yeah, because you're collecting them. And they'll get counted at the end. Only what you collected. So by you'll have ten seconds after the harvesting part is is done to go pick up your random pieces. You'll only get points for what you have collected on your person. Uh, oh, but you can look in your um. You can look in your everything, Tori. Your hot bar, and do math if you want. That's true. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, I ain't got time for math right now. Oh, 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 there you go. Oh, Let's... come on. Oh. Oh, I have 10 seconds. I'm running around to pick up what's left. I got to pick up all the, all the change. I got all the change. Ding, 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 ding. Calculating like scores. Be... Calculating scores. I should be married. All right, what do we got? Okay, okay let's see. Are we t yelling what we got? Let's see. Yeah. Kathy, what'd you get? Check our screens. 5 12. Claire will switch. 5 12. Eric's got. 10.56. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Mad Man. clicking. Oh, Overlight brother. Oh. Even with the delay to look at the stars. <laughs> Brutal. What do you have? I, I blame the fact that you are the developer, have inside 10 information. 1080. Yeah. You know the strats. Wow. Oh, okay. Close but call. if it had been all three of you, then you would have been closer to, you know, like. So then when does it tell us? 2,500. What our level is. Do we have to That's go quite out front? We're going to go outside. Oh, go outside. All right. So let's see what tier we each get out of here. Gotten. Let We're me get out of here. Oh, who am I talking to? battery to workshop person? lady out front. By the way, I just noticed, is, is her, the buttons on her shirt, are they supposed to look like the battery Like a charger? power button. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I like you it. You can retry. Cool. Our artist is like a master at the glowing effect right. and texture. Let's so, check wow. them scores. All right. I got a I tier play. two. Tier two. I got a three. See? There's the battery workshop's three. more forgiving. Yeah. A little bit more forgiving. How'd you do? What was your tier? Kathy, I'm tier three. Tier? Oh, I got oh, okay. two. All right. Nice. So remember, your tier is just kind of like a range, and there is no like tier four and done. There's how well you did in tier four. So like Eric and I are both tier four, right? Three. Oh, you're. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Three. Uh, yeah. We're both tier three. I'm tier three. I feel like if we worked together, I'm more would not have been so hard. Yeah, um, you could have done so, it. Huh? Uh -huh. We're both Taking tier three, but um, mine has a little bit more, so it's going to be a higher. It's going to perform higher in the 
you know, when we do a race, it's going to have that factor just a little bit better. You've got a little edge in the battery category. So the, mm. the four, the four, there's four different looks of vehicles and we'll find that out on the next stream. So all of these workshops, the the four tiers, there's four different types of solar panels and the really tier one, one has like a big chunky wooden frame looks real basic. And then like the four, tier four looks super sleek curves around the body. It looks really cool. And then the vehicle bodies, like the, the motor, all look different for the different tiers the bodies look different for the different tiers and even the batteries you'll see the batteries kind of plug into the side of the vehicle they'll look different for the different tiers as well and based on all your tiers you will get a, a, an amalgamation of your parts creating wow. your custom vehicle so since we did the body challenge together so last time, if we were going to go get our cars right now which we're not going to do but if we were going to go do that right now we would all have sort of the wooden jalopy body because we got tier one <laughs> in the body challenge. Have the, the Big old 70s fenders. station look wagon. Yeah, yeah, look at the vehicle body. We We're got tier one. <laughs> uh, so now if you wanted to improve and you wanted to get a better vehicle body, could you go back to that workshop and do that again? You can go to any of the workshops uh, to you get a higher score. You may want to stretch first. Oh, know? wait. So, then, so you Just make a little bit. Keep, you Crack keep your knuckles your a bit. In the, in the yeah. world. And then yeah. you can do better. Oh, when you that's build your, kind of awesome. when you visit, uh, when you visit your, um, the fabrication shop to get your vehicle built. Mm -hmm. So, like if I if I go here and uh, you know it opens up the door so you can see inside what all the vehicles look like. This is the jalopy we're gonna get. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna go during my uh, during the weekend and and improve my vehicle body score. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So Eric's going to do it right after the stream. <laughs> yeah, right. gonna, he doesn't need lunch. And, yeah. You know, do the important duties call. Um, but when you click the build car button, that's when your score is finalized and locked and you would have to start a new world if you wanted uh -huh. to try to try to build a different car. So don't uh, this, go to the shop. Well, you go to the shop to check everything out, but build car will finish you up so you can do the race and then you're, you're um, you'll, you'll be able to, race your vehicle um it drives itself it's an autonomous vehicle you won't be driving it cool. yeah. um, it'll race to the end and then at the end is where you have your score and we'll go over all that in the next stream when we do the final announcement so you know how to submit your scores into the competition and when everybody submits their scores we're taking all their vehicles and we're going to kind of um race them together in a track and we'll be kind of like shot casting that race where we actually will set up the races we'll put all your vehicles in a line against each other and see which vehicles are the best are we gonna have like hundreds of vehicles in a line or are we gonna do no we'll do them in like heats of eight in heat yeah. okay mm -hmm. heats of eight that's gonna be like a 48 hour stream or something like that <laughs> let's do it i hope so let's 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 make oh, it like a, a marathon the stream. Lock -in. There it is. right because we've got a lot <laughs> yeah. of people participating so that's gonna be fun so i have a question we started off, you did everything together. You decided, eh, I think I can do better individually, which I'm pretty sure we just proved you cannot because that collective score would have been a whole lot better. Yeah, I don't think now, any of us yeah. ever cleared a day cycle at all. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, for sure. So now all your scores are tied to you, though. So you still could build a car, right? Because you started as a team, then you went individual. <laughs> Yeah. So are the scores kept for the team or kept for the individual? Well, we copied the world, so we we uh, gotcha. so we Eric shared our, our progress to yeah, our, yeah. yeah. So you we keep your score. Okay. Worlds. Okay. Uh, that only happened because we you know we shared the world with each other. Gotcha. Okay. I just want to make sure we don't throw people off. And don't get me wrong, they can do that if if you know if they've got someone who's you know wasn't there one day of class, they can mm -hmm. export that world, save a copy before they do that challenge, and be like. You know, hey, didn't you didn't have a chance to do challenge four, so we, we saved a copy of the world for you, so you can go back and challenge. That's, that's so actually kind. Really, or, that's really or cool. you know you can honestly because we can do it together. Of course, just let's hey let's play it again. We kind of know what we're doing now. We gave it a shot without you, but with your help, we can do even better. Let's go do it again. Right mm -hmm. in anybody's world, really. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that. Awesome. So between now and March first, what should people be doing? Um. If there's any kind of muscle exercise that works the <laughs> mouse clicking motion, I think you uh, really want to build those muscles. I think like Beethoven did that and ended up getting himself in real trouble with that. You know, you're not supposed to work those muscles like that. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, but I, I think the communication and the teamwork coordination, like practicing these things, the, the, the build, uh, there's some things that you, the more you do, the better you get. So, um, you know, spending time figuring out, uh, the first challenge is a super duper, like strategy and coordination and communication. Like that one is like, I think one of the trickiest one It's the solar panel. It's like one of the most important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, well, Let me ask you a question. Uh, is there anything that stops the teams from doing them in any particular order that they want? If they watched these streams and they're like, look, we know four is going to be an easier run for us to get started. Maybe that'll be like our good team building moment. Let's start with four before we figure out the ones that seem a little bit more challenging for us. You could That's do a great any, idea. You could do them in any order. Wow. Yeah. I don't so, know if I could yeah. go in an order other than one, two, three, four. I'm I just know. like, yeah, yeah. it's going to be hard for me. So I'm to with do. you on that one, Claire. I'm like, how dare you, Eric? What I are you thinking? Start at four? What do you I mean, start at two? four? Yeah, like, ah. whoa, whoa, it's not a countdown, okay. Eric. I don't know. All right. <laughs> but Sounds yeah, you could good. be one of those people that puts your furniture all not symmetrical. <laughs> I mean, look, I didn't. I didn't say we should put the jelly down first and then smear the peanut butter on top of the jelly. I'm not, I'm not a monster. I'm not an actual <laughs> savage beast. Uh, no, uh, I mean, that would be just gosh. awful. Okay, you do. You, you do have some self-control. Okay, That's right. Sometimes you need an algorithm, okay? <laughs> right, right. Well, this is super fun. I love the way that, um, Brian, you and your team have designed this world. It's really phenomenal. Thank and you. hopefully the students participating kind to get a feeling for that and think wow like here they are watching these streams they're seeing the guy who put this together and that could give them a vision for the future of what they might do for work too yeah. you know i mean you could participate in this for fun you could learn about solar vehicles maybe you find you want to pursue something someday where you're designing cars that are using solar energy or maybe you want to be someone like brian and you're designing tools like this where you can you know, create these experiences for other people to have and to learn from. So I love all that. There are a whole lot of opportunities here to yes. kind of think about the the whole big picture of the real world, which mm -hmm. is cool. And have a great time at the same time. And I don't know, carpal tunnel, maybe. Not we're having fun. Yeah. <laughs> Just so we're having fun. We're having but look, you know what? Look, NACEF has some phenomenal guides on health and wellness. And one of those things is knowing when to take a break, right? Knowing when to take a break. So, you know, take <laughs> right. a break, go ice your hand, you know, <laughs> go do something outdoors for a little while. Right. I got to say get, all the get your homework the, done. You know? All the 10 and 12 year olds watching this are going, that was only four minutes. I don't see what you all are complaining yeah, about. Seriously. But... <laughs> yeah, seriously. No, no, no. They, got, they got way better it's skills. A, it's an age thing. I'm yeah. sorry. To say That's that. right. Yeah. Okay, so just one more time, if you want to join, you have not joined Junior Solar Sprint yet, then you can head on over to nasef.org and click the, um, probably the easiest way is to click the banner on the front, or you can find it on several different menus as Eric has shown us before. Um, yep, so there we go on the front, Junior Solar Sprint Minecraft, it's on the learning menu. And it's also on the compete menu. And if you love Minecraft, you might want to check out that page on the compete menu because that shows the three different Minecraft challenges that we have going on this spring. They're all super fun. They're all a little bit different, but they all will use your awesome Minecraft skills. So check them out. Please join us. And we will see you all coming up very soon on awesome. March 1st. We'll bring the so band that, back together. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> March 1st. We'll have to reunite. We're going to have a special guest with us also on March 1st. We have Sue King, who is with uh, Junior Solar Sprint and the AEOP, and she's going to be joining us. So excited to have her here. And we will talk about the challenges and how to submit your Flipgrid videos. So until then, All keep right. those fingers moving. Good luck in your preseason <laughs> challenges. Thanks. Bye, everybody. All right, thanks, Bye. Everybody.